Hello Transformation, welcome back to my channel Modest Transformation by Celeste. In today's video we're going to do a news reaction, well a social media concern, which is like the news really, but um, we're going to talk about is black names that are getting not getting chosen over the white names of being hired to work. So I want to show you guys in my reaction to this video and um. Before we get into it, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow your girl, Modest Transformation, and let's get into the video. As of research that you've done, we mentioned areas in which we're more likely to discriminate, which companies and which areas were less likely. Yes, we see less discrimination on the basis of race against our distinctively black names in these special applications we sent. In the food store industries, which I mentioned earlier, you can think about that like grocery stores. Uh, we see less discrimination in freight and transport, which includes companies like FedEx and UPS, um, as well as some in other utility companies uh, and communications companies like Charter and, and, and Spectrum. So again, it's not a universal phenomenon. It's not sort of inevitable that there's going to be discrimination in, in the types of jobs we're studying here. It does seem to have strong concentration in particular firms. And, and among firms that are concentrated in these particular industries. And again, for our viewers, the resumes were identical. The qualifications and the skills were the same. There was the personal information that you changed. How then, if, if companies are watching this, people who can actually Im, you know, Im, uh, impact change, what can companies do to address discrimination and, and you know, extinguish this type of behavior? Yeah, that's a great, great question, and hopefully, hopefully, something that we can continue to work on in, in future research. You know, the short answer is we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes at these companies. We see what our uh, our experiment is establishing is that the companies do differ in these types of discrimination that exhibit as measured in an experiment like ours. We have some clues about what policies and practices might matter here, including things like how centralized their HR operation seems to be. Some companies, it seems that many individuals are involved in making hiring establishments at a single establishment as like before. So reflecting on the study, I honestly can't help but draw parallels to the experiences many of us have faced or witnessed in my country, South Africa. Personally, I've seen friends and family members with impeccable qualifications struggle to get callbacks, while others with similar or even lesser credentials seem to glide through the hiring process. Now, it's a disheartening reality that biases, intentional or not, continue to shape our professional landscapes. Now, the idea that your name alone could influence your chances of getting a job is a sobering reminder of the racism that still persists in our society. Now, the research team behind this new study used a methodology that allowed them to assign grades to 97 companies based on their level of racism and the hiring practices. Now, among the worst offenders were auto dealers and car part retailers, such as Genuine Auto Parts and Auto Nation. Now, these companies show significant discrepancies in callback rates between white and black applicants. Now, Doreen St. Flair, who is a career coach and a workplace consultant, shared her insights of the findings. Her observation highlights a critical point. Discrimination in hiring doesn't stop at entry-level positions only. It's apparently evident through organizational hierarchies affecting one's career path and potential growth in the company. Now, the study has sparked conversations across social media with users expressing a range of emotions from frustration to a call for action. One user stated, the fact that you're not getting callbacks does not mean you suck. You're not a good worker. You don't deserve this thing. It's just the nature of the systematic forces at play. Now, others advocated for transparency and accountability in hiring practices, ensuring that companies take concrete steps towards inclusivity. For job seekers facing bias, and Flair recommends leveraging their networks for opportunity. Welcome back, guys. Um, 
hearing and looking at that video is very disheartening and as black women especially us what we have to go through uh trying to get into jobs benefit you know us and to make a living to have, you know help our families or if you have your own family that you started and you want to be financially stable um it makes the, <laughs> it thinks you know i think about me applying to these jobs you know i'm not getting picked and you know it it hurts because you know even though they say you know no discrimination or you know or it can be a high uh, volume of people that want to apply for that job um it's hard especially being black and a female and we're not being accepted for who we are and it just is it's really disheartening because we have the work ethics. We have the value. We bring in the value, really. We are the blueprint. But as you guys see, they are really intimidated by blacks. I don't care. They try to call us out our name. They are intimidated. They use those words, those tactics to bring us down or trying to make it seem like we're the evil ones. And knowing in the mirror, they are the evil ones. They're insecure. Um, they're not trying to make America great again with for for what the the lighter tone, the white people. And let me say this too: all whites are not like this, because I know some. They are not. We you have good people that likes to help, but you just have people who are ignorant, not trying to benefit or trying not to understand. And they want to put blacks in this little circle. Oh, they poor and this and that. No. You guys try to make us poor, but you're making money off us. That's why I say we are the blueprint. Whether people like it or not, it's the truth. But the thing about it is that we work very hard. We have an education and we have responsibilities too. But um, tell me what you guys think about this reaction to this video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And how do you feel? Just let me know down below. Comment. And um, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.